morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Let me apologize in advance. I'm trying to get over a cold. Um, I haven't made a video. <coughs> Excuse me, jeez. I've made a video in a few days. Um, I was in uh, Utah over the weekend visiting my parents, helping them move. So that's one reason why. But um, I'm back at it. Um, uh, Monday and Tuesday. I tried to trade, but I was feeling like shit, so I didn't really do anything. Um, but today I felt a little better, and I'm able to stay awake in the morning, which is the main thing, so that's kind of where I'm at. Um, today, my only trade uh, was DMCI. I can get this damn thing open there we go. So I put a market order. I'm sorry, I put a... Um, limit order in at two dollars and then i sold at seven and as you can see on the chart here um here are my arrows um i got the buy arrow right here which i came in around two bucks and then i sold at 207 now when i was looking at the time in sales and as you can see that it kind of reflects on this candle um we had the initial let me you know what let me get rid of these i keep forgetting to remove these bars i know sometimes for some people it's kind of confusing to for me to start this video and i have a bunch of shit all over the place um so basically what i was looking at is this little top right here around two bucks um this kind of peaked uh before 9 30 so before pre-market and you, as you can see it kind of came up above a little bit in pre-market, but um, it didn't really do anything. It didn't crack, it didn't, or at least it didn't stay above uh, the $2. <clears throat> so I put my buy in about, you know, a little bit above it. Uh, but for whatever reason, it took right at $2, which is fine. Um, and then it jumped up, and it came to about uh, 209, 210, being the top of this candle. And then um, it immediately shot up to 220 when it when this candle came up and then it and it came down and it was kind of hovering around this 210 area 2, 209 area. And I was seeing this large uh, kind of wick at the top of the candle, and um, I was I was thinking makes it a little bigger. I was thinking you know you know this this big this big wick right here like it shot up and then came down. And it was just kind of hovering around this uh, this area right here. And I was looking at the time in sales, and it was like 207, 208, 207, 206, 207, 208, 209, 207. You know, like 207 was kind of like, it was like absorbing a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, a lot of the, uh, the buying and selling. So that's where I decided to get out. It was about 207. So I just, uh, just market ordered it out. And then right after, the candle uh, or it opened uh, down and it kind of came down a bit to around um around 202 you know and then it came uh back up in the next candle and then it shot all the way up to 229 almost 230 so uh, in retrospect you know uh, it would have been nice if i would have held it through this but since it was struggling on here and the time in sales was showing that it was just absorbing um all the buying and selling like it wasn't really breaking past 207 so that was for me that was a signal to get out you know because i didn't want to i didn't want to stay in it because it didn't look like it was going to break past now if i had a bit of a longer um time horizon in my or at least in my mindset you know i, sh I should have held it because i could have gone up to 230 so i only made like uh 28 on 400 shares for whatever reason I couldn't do 500 shares, even though I have enough buying power because I have six times buying power, but it was only letting me do 400. So probably gonna have a little bit more if I was able to use uh, the 500 like I originally wanted. But uh, yeah, when when I'm when I'm going through these orders, you know, I look at I look at level two to kind of see if there's any big orders. If I see any three digits, because all these single digits basically represent 100. Um, it doesn't show the zero, the ones place and the tens place. It just shows the the like right here six. So that means six hundred. It just shows that. So if you see twenty six, that's two thousand. 
two, or 25, 2,000, that's five, 2,500. And then if you saw like 125, it'd be 12,000, you know, 500 and so on and so forth. So I look for like the big numbers, usually like triple digits, because that's, a, that's um, 10,000 or more. And then if I see one of those sellers, you know, or buyers, you know, that kind of tells me that's a bit, that's a big sell. That's a big buyer. So I watch out for that. But the time in sales is kind of like the receipt. Like when you go to the grocery store, you know, after you buy everything, you get the receipt, like, so it's finalized. So I look at level two before I buy and I kind of watch the time in sales, see where it's going. And then once I'm in, I'm more focused on the time in sales because Level two can have people, you know, place the order and then pull out. So it doesn't really confirm that they're going to buy or sell anything. It just shows that they want to buy or sell. But the time in sales is like, is absolute, you know, it's the receipt. It's going to show you exactly what, um, what or whether they buy, bought or sold and at what price. So I was, like I said, I was watching time in sales and it was just hovering around 207. So for whatever reason, um, buying and selling was coming in strong at 207 and it wasn't moving anywhere. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get the hell out because it's not going anywhere. And then it came back up. Like I said, um, after a couple minutes later, it shot up to around 230. So unfortunately I missed my opportunity there. Um, it has, it has been staying in this channel pretty well. Um, it looks a little better on a five minute, but, um, it's kind of it's kind of like shot past. Oops, damn it! It's kind of a uh, shot past these. Um, I think this looks a little better. These markers. Um, it's 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 been hovering. You know, around these kind of levels, it dropped below these um this um resistance line or I'm sorry support line here. And 210 looks like it's it's being difficult to crack. Um, as you can see, it touched it a couple times here, but it hasn't really broke past it. And now it's and it's can be, been hovered kind of lower below the VWAP, which is the squiggly yellow line here. <coughs> so, um, but I but I pretty much made my money. I'm gonna I'm gonna step out for the rest of the day. I'm really gonna go back to sleep. Um, but. You know, do doing um um these setups. You know, there's a reason why I have a setup. You know, level two, time and sales and chart. Um, I see a lot of traders do that. And like I said, you know, when you're looking at the level two, you're kind of seeing what the current of bid and ask spread is. And you see, here's a 102 right here. So I'm talking about so that's 10,200 shares right there. So that's a big sell order. So that's like a I want to say scary. But if you're in a stock and you see a big sell order like that, you know, it's going to make you cautious and probably want to get out. And then vice versa, if you're shorting and then you see a big buy order like 10,200, you might want to cover your cover your shares because the stock might rip up and then you might lose money. So it's kind of a good reason to look at that. But like when you're in the stock, you know, you also want to be very mindful of the, the time and sales right here because, you know, all these numbers represent... The, at the top, of course, is the most recent, but all the all the price action going on. So whenever you see these, you know, like 197 is kind of holding. Okay, now it's 198. Now it's back to 197. You know, 197 looks like it's holding. And even though the level two is 196, 197 on here, the bid and ask, you know, 196, 94 is the most, or one, yeah, is the most recent. So that's the actual price it's at. So the time of sales is telling you the exact price and where it's at. You know, so it's always good to be mindful of that. And right now, like it's it's been struggling around the two dollar mark. I don't think it's probably gonna maybe eventually break down, but um, but you know, like looking at time of sales like that is is important, I think, and it's definitely helped me more and more as I've been doing this to try to pay attention. It's hard not to look at the chart. Like the chart is in the beginning for me the the only thing I wanted to stare at because I watched it go up and down, up and down, but um, it's not giving me the most accurate um uh price at the time you know it's kind of it's kind of fluttering back and forth where the time of sales is giving you to the nearest point zero 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 one decimal place you know so it's a lot more accurate so it's always good to watch time of sales especially when you're in the trade because that way you know um exactly where it's at you can see where a lot of the shares are getting absorbed at and 
if it's going to be able to break through it or not. So always, always be careful of that. But, uh, and then you can even see this stock is still, uh, oops, damn it, fucking thing, there we go. It's still at, uh, on the five minute here, it's still kind of staying in its trend. It's kind of going up in this trend. So who knows, it might keep going up, I don't know. But, uh, I try, I'm, I'm trying to do more of not, uh, trading the same stock over and over in the day. You know, if I make a good trade, I want to get out of it. But, uh, anyway, that's kind of where I'm at today. So, again, sorry I haven't made a video in a little bit. Been out of, I've been out of state, and then I've got a cold when I came back, and it's just been real shitty. But anyways, um, you know, and if, like, like as always, you know, if you're just starting out on this and stuff like that, you know, do the best you can. You know, ask ask me questions. I'll do my best to answer. You know, don't don't give up on this because it's hard, man. Because I've I've had to I've 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 broke down past um the five hundred dollar limit uh, to lose my six to one leverage a couple times. You know, I had to keep putting money in. Um, and and people say you know use um a paper account, but I I started with real money, so it's kind of hard to go back for me. But I mean, if you're if you're brand new and you haven't, I would highly suggest using a a paper trading account. Um, like I said, all the money I put into this, I can afford to lose. You know, I pl I plan this a little bit in advance. So even though I did lose money and it sucks, you know, I was prepared to lose that money. I'm not losing more than what I'm prepared to lose. So you know, that's that's one big thing to think about when you when you get into this and you're and you're spending real money. So always be always be careful about that. But anyway, I hope you all have a good day. And I hope you keep at it and keep working hard like me. All right. So talk to y'all later.